Hello wonderful people of Ghana, you're welcome to another exclusive episode here live on another exclusive wonderful day here on Rauf TV. I will thank you all very much uh, previous subscribers and subscribers who are back to my channel. Yes, on this episode, I would like to assist viewers out there. Maybe you are an undergraduate student, uh, an undergraduate uh, student in Ghana, um, someone who has already applied for a school outside Ghana, or somebody who has applied a school outside Africa to Europe, Asia, or any other country. There, there is this that I want to share with you. If you are looking for a scholarship for yourself, kindly have a time, sit, get a water close to you, sip it. I'm going to take you through. Ta-da! Let's go. Alright, so there is this thing that I would like to share about. Like, um, if you apply for a university outside Ghana, if you apply for a university in the US, Europe, like any other country outside Ghana, and you're looking for scholarship, or if you apply for any other uh, university in Ghana, and you want scholarship, in Ghana here, there are three recommended scholarships for yourself. That is to tell you that there are three recommended scholarships that can be an internal scholarship and can be the same as an external scholarship for yourself because there are categories of scholarship which we have the internal scholarship and the external scholarship for yourself and it comes like it has the, the undergraduate scholarship it has the postgraduate scholarship and also uh, it has phd scholarship and master scholarship as well it comes in three and how do you about four folds yourself so you have to take your time and know there are three recommended scholarships in ghana here which is having this external uh, external scholarship for ghanaians and internal scholarship for ghanaians as well and the name of this scholarship are the first one is the gmpc the ghana national petroleum uh, council uh, scholarship that is one of the scholarships you should look up to and the second one that you must look up to it is Ghana scholarship secretariat that is one of the there are the second one you should look up to and the absolute third one which is popular that you should look up to is the Ghana uh, is it Ghana Education? That yes, Ghana Education Trust Fund. That is the get fund yourself. So that is this, these are the two: the GNPC, uh, Ghana uh, Scholarship Secretariat, and the uh, how do you call it, the get fund. These are the three that you should look for in yourself. So let me take them one by one. Uh, with the GNPC scholarship, most of the time, most of the time, they give out this uh, standard scholarship to Ghanaians uh, in Ghana. Who have applied uh, universities outside Ghana, and with the with that one, like anything at all, like if you have applied for any uh, university and you have got admission yourself, what you have to do is that you have to you have to you have to go to their website and apply. Get fund too is the same. You have to go to their website and apply. And uh, I think uh, Ghana Scholarship Secretariat, they are having uh, branches like they have they have an office. In every constituency, so if you go to your constituency office, you get the Ghana Scholarship Secretariat. You get the uh, how do you call it? You get the uh, how in the in the you get uh, the uh, department in the constituency office. Like constituency, if you go to the DC office, you get the uh, department there. So that is where you find the uh, department. So if you are interested in applying for the Ghana Scholarship Secretariat, what you have to do is that you have to just write application. You have to write the application to. Um, the, the office in any of your constituencies that you have you just go to the DC's office they have their de department over there with the get fund it is always on their website you can have their website go there you log in you create your account you log in then you will be able to apply and again as well as if you if you if you feel like uh, it will be awesome for you to write an application to the um, to the constituency office, you can also apply online and the GMPC too, you can also apply online. So, you have to get your documents set, your requirements set before applying for a scholarship, and you have to make sure that you have a good grades before applying for a scholarship. Those are some of the things that, like, you should look at it. And if you're applying for a scholarship, make sure you have your make sure you have how do you call it, you have your transcript, you have how do you call it, um, about. Some of uh, you have a recommendation from your previous school. I don't know, it might be a college, it might be a senior high, it might also be a university. You have to make sure you have a recommendation 
or two recommendation from there you get your transcript you get your results your results i don't know whether it can be your university certificate if you are that is if you are article if you are a graduate and you want a postgraduate or master's yourself you can get your PhD. you can get your university results and if you are hard you can also just get it. you have to get your wasi results before you apply for the scholarship yourself so applying for the scholarship it is not all that difficult but the thing is that like in ghana here you and i know the country that we live in the country that we are living in we know it is not favorable favorable to most of us because the country we are living in at the moment like it's just hard and you use it but we used to get a scholarship you can apply but you don't have to give up you have to try the three of them and you know with the get fund the get fund the get fund the the portal is always opened that is from may the pot fund getter the the get fund portal and I'm saying, and I'm saying the pot, the the pot one. Hey, we say the pot one get. Hey, yeah, so more. Uh, pressure back here. So that is it. The portal for the get fund is always open um, around May, May, June, July, August. Yes, and the GMPC is always the. I'm talking for the GMPC is always. I'm talking like for the undergraduate, the undergraduate specifically, like for those who who have applied for schools and they want to apply for the scholarship. And then, like, and the graduate is always like, I guess that for the GMPC, I guess, I guess, and those months now, twelve to twelve, or maybe even even more. So that is it. And the Ghana uh, scholarships get there. I think it's always open. Like Ghana, the uh, scholarships get that one is always, always open. But the Ghana scholarships secretary does not apply to like any country at all. And they have like countries like ghana they have this kind of a uh, bilateral relationship between those countries so one of the countries that i know is popular is like they have china they have uh, korea and all this kind of stuff but one of the advice that i have for like most of you who have applied schools outside ghana looking for a standard scholarship like it is not always because most of the time you can have all your research on the internet and a whole lot of stuff there is a link I'm putting down below. If you look like all the, the scholarship in Ghana here, if you are not interested and you want like any other form of scholarship, I'm putting down the link down. This link is recommended. I got this link from the US Embassy and the Education USA. Education USA is an institution that essentially, if you are looking for any kind of counseling, you can go there for counseling. Then you have like, if you want to apply for any university, in any university in abroad or anything at all, you can go to the Education USA. Even when you, you, when you get in touch with the professors from the university, they will always recommend like Education USA for you. And I think that is where most of the time you get a lot of stuff. Up. So like. What I'll do is that the link I'll post it down there. You can follow any of them if you think you are interested for your master's, your PhD. So you can get a full tuition, like you can get a full scholarship that covers everything with the, like monthly allowance and stipend and everything. You can get it there. So I don't know. You just follow the link, and I'm praying that by the end of the day, watching this video will not be anything because it is helpful. Like if you you just be searching the internet, just for the whole day searching the internet looking for scholarship but it is very very difficult to get a scholarship very very difficult you just be searching the whole day moving you, in fact you can search by all means and the possible best but getting it very very difficult and i don't know why but you can locate the education usa education usa is under the u.s embassy they have an office at kumasi at asoka and they, they have their their department in the u.s embassy so probably i got a link from the u.s embassy when i went to the u.s embassy for counseling i got i got a link there so i will share the links down below this one so that you can just get them link it up and know how it might going to help you i don't know probably how it's going to help you but link it up and see how best you'll be able to get an external scholarship some of them are fully funded scholarship for yourself you can be able to get them for your master's your phd undergraduate most of the most of these scholarships like for uh, external scholarship which like you can get them most of them are for women most of them are for women so like if you're a lady master don't let your your parents intimidate you like say it's the only way you need also to let you tell you fly or fly 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 so that is it for yourself like so that is a bit mean yeah you can get a full scholarship and most of them are for women most of them too are masters and PhD. so if you want to make your master oh man oh my sorry your master oh man 
Hey, oh man, look sharp, oh man, look sharp. Maybe yeah, I'm cause look sharp. So man, that that is so that is so Charlie. If you want uh, how to get a full funded scholarship for yourself, the external link that I posted there, just follow them one by one. And also you can check it out if you are in Ghana here, you can check it out, you can check GMPC, get fund and uh, Ghana scholarship secretary yourself. Man, Charlie. That is it. Yeah, because I made me a scholarship boy. Now, admission made me go a me go a scholarship away, Charlie. So that is it for you guys. It's just it, it doesn't mean that I've, so far as I've not applied to any university. As far as I've done, I'm not into any university in abroad. It doesn't mean that I can I cannot recommend for you. At least they, they said that what 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 is the best teacher. But the thing is that like if you have the idea, you have it. That, that is the reason why a teacher teaches you and you become a doctor and you're still a teacher. A teacher taught you to become a doctor, master. So I'm teaching you to take it. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. <coughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you.